Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. This is Destroyed Civilizations episode 6. Recent archaeological findings suggest that simple earth dams and canal network were constructed as far back as 2000 BC. You might be thinking that which dam we are talking about. Brothers and sisters, we are talking about the Great Dam of Maharib. The Marib Dam is a dam blocking the Wadi of Adana in the valley of Dana in the Balak Hills, Yemen. The current dam is close to the ruins of the Great Dam of Marib, dating from around the 8th century BC. It was one of the engineering wonders of the ancient world and a central part of the Sabain and Himarit kingdoms around Marib. The site of the Great Dam of Marib, also called the Dam of Arim, is upstream of the ancient city of Marib once the capital of the ancient kingdom of Saba. The kingdom of Saba was a prosperous trading nation with control of the frankincense and spice routes in Arabia and Ethiopia. The Sabines built the dam to capture the periodic monsoon rains which fall on the nearby mountains and so irrigate the land around the city. The medieval Arab geographer Yakut al Hamawi describes it thus. It is between three mountains and the flood waters all flow to the one location and because of that the water only discharges in one direction. And the ancients block that place with hard rocks and let the water from springs gathers there as well as flood water, collecting behind the dam like a sea. Whenever they wanted to, they could irrigate their crops from it by just letting out however much water they needed from Seleu's gates. Once they had used enough, they would close the gates again as they pleased. The historical dam was severely damaged by a Saudi airstrike in the night of May 31, 2015. This dam is easily one of the finest examples of masonry architecture in the Arabian Peninsula. Local stories say the dam was in use for centuries. However, the Great Dam apparently stopped serving as a barrier when it was breached by rats. Local tales report that the final breach of the dam had been predicted by a king called Imran, who was also a soothsayer, and later by the wife of the king. According to legend, the breach was caused by large rats gnawing at it with their teeth and scratching it with their nails. In 570 or 575, the dam was again overtopped and this time left unrepaired. The breaching and destruction of the Dam of Marib was a historical event and was alluded to in the glorious Quran. In the Quran, there was for the tribe of Saba in their dwelling place a sign, two fields of gardens on the right and on the left. They were told, eat from the provisions of your Lord and be grateful to him. A good land have you and a forgiving Lord in the Quran, but they turned away refusing, so we sent upon them the flood of the dam, and we replaced their two fields of gardens with gardens of bitter fruit, tamarisk, and something of sparse low trees. In the Quran, by that we repaid them because they disbelieved, and do we thus repay except the ungrateful? The great dam of Ma'arib was in use for many centuries for the storage of water as well as for irrigation purposes. During the 6th century AD, however, the dam collapsed. Though the walls of its solutions are still standing today. Allahu Akbar. According to inscriptions, the dam was built by a ruler named Sumuhu Alay Yunuf and his son Yatha Amar Bayin. However, a German archaeological expedition excavating one of the areas below the dam has revealed that this monument went through several phases between beginning of the 2nd millennium BC and the 1st millennium BC. In any case, the Marib Dam was essential for the survival of the Sabain Kingdom as it provided water for its people. Now let us see how the news about the people Saba of which was informed by the Quran has been proved by historians with their records of history. 
The community of Saba was one of the four biggest civilizations which lived in South Arabia. The historical records about the community of Saba report that this nation was a state like Phoenicians, who were occupied with intense commerce activities. The Sabaeans are known to have been a civilized nation in history. In the inscriptions of the rulers of Saba, the words such as restore, dedicate and construct are frequently used. The Ma'arib Dam, which is one of the most important works of these people, is an important indication of the technological level these people had reached. With the Ma'arib Dam, which they had constructed with very advanced technology, the Sabaean people became owners of a great irrigation capacity. The fruitful lands they thus obtained and their control over the trade routes allowed them to lead a magnificent and luxurious lifestyle. The total area that could be irrigated by the dam was 9,600 hectares, 5,300 hectares of which belonged to the southern plain, while the remaining part belonged to the northern plain. These two plains were referred to as Marib and two plains in the Sabaean inscriptions. Perhaps the expression in the Quran, two gardens to the right and to the left, points to the imposing gardens and vineyards in these two valleys. Thanks to this dam and irrigation systems, the region became famous as the best irrigated and most fruitful area of Yemen. The Frenchman J. Holloway and the Australian Glassa proved from written documents that the Ma'arib Dam existed since ancient times. In the documents written in the Heimer dialect, it is stated that this dam rendered the territory very productive. After the collapse of the dam wall, all of the country was inundated by the flood, the canals that had been dug by the Sabaean people, and the wall that had been constructed by builders' barriers between mountains were destroyed and irrigation system fell apart. As a result, the territory which was like a garden before turned into a place where weeds grew, and there was no fruit left but the cherry-like fruit of little stumpy trees. Besides, there are inscriptions written in the Sabah in language on the pillars of Sabah. The Christian archaeologist Werner Keller states the following in his book called The Holy Book Was Right. The flood of Arim occurred as it was described in the Quran. Since the existence of such a dam and the destruction of the whole country by its collapse proved that the example given in the Quran about the people of the garden was indeed realized. Subhanallah. The Quran mentions the people of Sabah and historians accept it. It also states that the people of Sabah lived in a beautiful city with green vineyards, gardens and orchards and historians accept it. It also mentions a big dam in that city and historians accept it. The Quran also states that the dam irrigated two gardens and historians accept it. The Quran also mentions the calamity of flood that took place as a result of the collapsing of the dam wall and historians accept it. The Quran states that the vineyards and gardens were destroyed and historians accept it. Yes, by accepting all of the news stated by the Quran, historians actually accept that the Quran is the book of God because it is impossible for a person who could not write and read to discover these facts all on his own and inform people about them. A new dam was then built in the 1980s, close to the location of the old one at the expense of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the late President of the United Arab Emirates. After the collapse of the historical dam, the opening ceremony took place in 1986, in the presence of Sheikh Zayed. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known about the people of Sabah and the great dam of Ma'arib? Brothers and sisters, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends and family. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.